According to the United Nations, 8 million tonnes of plastic ends up in the world's oceans every year. In the Senegalese capital of Dakar, the fight against this plastic tide is well underway, thanks in part to a team of amateur divers operating under the name Oceanium. It's very polluted. Unfortunately, some of the locals throw their rubbish straight into the water. It's sad. Restricted by oxygen levels, the divers have just one hour per descent to gather as much rubbish as they can. It's a mammoth task, and the worry is that their efforts are a mere drop in the ocean, with Senegal dumping over 250,000 tonnes of waste into the Atlantic each year. You see water bottles which stay intact for a long time. Plastic stays for a long time. It can take centuries for something like this to dissolve. In this West African nation, addressing green issues trails far behind the drive to ease poverty. Oceanium organized their first cleanup operation two years ago. Now, the plan is to make them more frequent, first once a month, and then, if funding permits, once a week. We realized that the sea is too dirty. A lot of people have this view of the sea as a rubbish bin, so they just throw away all sorts of things. That's why we're here to clean up. In 2015, the country passed a law banning the sale of plastic bags. But four years on, this has still not come into force. And Gore Island, a popular tourist destination off the coast of Dakar, is particularly affected by this pollution. We're in summer, so we're seeing a lot of beer cans and plastic bottles and cups. People who go to the beach are drinking and partying, and if there are no bins, things get left on the beach. And then, with the swell, it ends up in the sea, and because it's a bay, it ends up here. The team's most recent cleanup operation saw hundreds of kilos of waste removed from the ocean. It's certainly a start but there's still a long way to go if Senegal is to attain President Macky Sall's goal of becoming a zero-waste nation.